I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test problem and this is a very common test problem which we will see in Algebra 2 IB polynomial solving polynomial equations or in functions and advanced functions. The question here is consider the rectangular solid as shown in the figure find its dimensions if the volume is 42 centimeter cube. So that's the rectangular cube whose dimensions are x minus 1, x minus 2 and x plus 3. So volume is product of all three. As a function of x, we can write volume as equal to x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 3. Now we are given volume of 42 centimeter cube. So we'll replace v of x as 42. And we can expand this to find the polynomial function. So let's multiply the first two. We get x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2 times x plus 3. Combine these two terms x squared minus 3x plus 2 times x plus 3. Multiply by x plus 3. So multiplying by x, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x. Now by 3 distributed property plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 6. Now we can bring 42 to the right side, simplify the polynomial, which is x cube minus 3x square plus 3x square is 0. 2x minus 9x will give us minus 7x. And we have 6 minus 42, right? 6 minus, let me write 6 minus, sorry, plus 6 minus 42. And that is indeed equals to x cube minus 7x and 6 minus 42 is minus 36. So that's the polynomial. Now to find the value of x, we'll try out some value. Now one thing which is very clear when you start with, and I think it's very important I missed, I should tell you. When you have a polynomial function like this, and we are dealing with a real life situation, we know the dimensions should always be positive. That means x has to be greater than 2, correct? If x is uh, less than 2, we'll get negative numbers here. So that is not permitted. So that helps. So what will happen now is that we can try different values for the polynomial. And we can see if this is our polynomial, then we can say what is the value of p of 1. But there is no point trying p of 1. Since x should be greater than 2, correct? p of 1 is going to give you, I mean, 0 in this case. but So p of 1 or 2 should not be tried. So we should try from p of 3, right? So value of this polynomial when x is 3, correct? So we can try, use your calculator and try the value. What is the value of the function when x is 3? It will be 3 q, right? Let me write this, 3 q minus 7 times 3 minus 36, right? You can use your calculator and find the answer. So what do we get? 3 q is 27, but don't rely on your basic calculations. Use calculator 3 minus 7 times 3 minus 36 is equal to minus 30. So it is not 0. So that doesn't help us. Now try P of 4. So that means we'll replace x with 4. That is our equation. We are calling this to be our polynomial. That's the polynomial for us. Okay. So P of 4 will be 4Q minus 7 times 4, which is 28, 64 minus 28 minus 36. So you can again use your calculator, right? Don't rely on your calculations otherwise. Just write minus 7 times 4, 7 times 4 minus 36. That gives us 0. Okay, so that means we got the first factor. Now, since the question is not asking for all possible and things like that, we know at least one value is correct. So we know x equals to 4 leads to solution. Do you get the point? So x equals to 4, sorry, I'm writing 0. x equals to 4 leads to the solution. And therefore, the dimensions should be what? Dimensions should be x minus 1. So x minus 1 means 4 minus 1, that is 3, right? And then we have x minus 2. x minus 2 means 4 minus 2, which is 2. And we have x plus 3, that is 4 plus 3, 
y is equals to 7, correct? And from here, we can write down the dimensions r, unit is centimeters, so we'll write 3 centimeter by 2 centimeter by 7 centimeter. So that becomes our answer. Do you see that? So that is how we can actually solve a question, a word problem like this in minimum number of steps. I hope that will definitely help you. Thank you and all the best.